The Port Authority will begin a project next week that will disrupt your commute for a month. This will affect both bus and T riders. Rachel Monjovi is live now to explain how early you'll need to leave home to get to work on time. Rachel. Well, Ken, for a lot of riders, this won't be an easy transition. Their commute to and from work will be a bit more challenging, and it's going to take them a lot longer to get to work than usual. In just one week, the Port Authority will start work on a major construction project that will significantly impact bus and train riders for an entire month. About 480 feet of light rail track and concrete will be replaced between South Hills Junction and the Mount Washington Transit Tunnel. This means commuters will need to map out their trip to work. I take this the train every day, so it's definitely an inconvenience to myself. Um, I got to plan ahead now when I wake up in the morning. Bus and light rail riders will have a longer commute to work during the month-long construction. Huge delays are expected. Yeah, it's going to delay it. I'll have to wake up a little bit earlier or, you know, just time out my commute a lot better. Work is set to begin Friday, July 26. The Port Authority says 10,000 weekday light rail riders will be impacted by this, as well as 5,000 weekday bus riders. I mean, it's going to be a pain. i got to get to work, you know, but um, I guess I'll be taking the incline. All inbound rail service will be rerouted through the city's Allentown neighborhood. There will not be a stop at Station Square. Outbound rail cars will use the Mount Washington Transit Tunnel until 11 p.m. Shuttles will also be available at certain stops. For bus riders, the last inbound stop before buses are detoured will be the South Busway at Palm Garden. The last outbound stop will be East Carson Street at Station Square. Now again, this project doesn't begin until next Friday. It's supposed to wrap up by August 22nd. We have a more detailed outline of the detours on our website, kittyk.com. Reporting live, Rachel Monjovi, KDK News.